All right, guys. Well, learned some very painful lessons over the past month. So to recap, a month ago, uh, I had a catastrophic oil leak in my 01 F350, and um, it turned out to be one of these high-pressure oil pump hoses. So point of fact, I believe it turned out to, yeah, this one right here. So this is the stack, the Fander factory hose. It's got little wire barbs on it. It's a quick connect. But there's a special tool you can use to disconnect this. Um, it's like 15 bucks on Amazon, but I'm cheap and I like pain. So I went to Harbor Freight Tools, tried to do that. It got off half of them, but two of them just wouldn't come off. So um, I'm not a... I'm not into like heavily modifying my truck or performance modification. So had I just gone with the standard factory hose like that, it would have saved me a ton of pain, but I went cheap and got some high performance hoses on Amazon. It, it's probably going to end up doing me better in the long run, but it kind of made me have to torque things. And while I have a torque wrench, I misread the, the torque setting. So instead of doing 25 foot pounds, I did 35. Um, so I blew out the threads. So coming back over here, the thread for, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Well, the nut for the high pressure oil pop outlet is nine sixteenths by 18. So this is the fix of thread. I got it at Napa that, um, a friend of mine who's way more comfortable at tapping and using, uh, Healy coil than I am came over and fixed it. Um, in order to do this well, you're definitely going to need some crow's feet. This is a set at Harbor Freight Tools I got. You're going to need a 17 to take off the Ford factory one uh, and a 19 to put the new one in. So I'll leave a link with the type of kit I used on Amazon. But you can kind of see that green hose right there. Um, there's another one back there uh, that connects here. So I hear that this is supposed to make the engine run better, smoother. Um, Less noise at idle, but you know, whatever. So the crow's feet come in really handy when you're trying to install hoses in here. And so that's why I highly recommend getting some crow's feet if you don't have this and you're doing this repair yourself. But having said that, if you keep just the standard configuration, um, you still have to kind of take out the, the, the turbo uh, splitter here. I'm not sure what you call it. You still have to take about all of that but you wouldn't have to retorque anything because in theory, if the, the hoses just, you can get the quick connect to disconnect, you just put the new ones on, you start up and you just keep on going. Um, so anyway, that was, if I had to do it over again, I would have definitely just gone the factory hose route and I could have repaired this easily in a weekend rather than a month. And I wouldn't have made critical errors and misreading my torque wrench, which caused me to, um, need to retap and die and use a Healy coil on my high pressure oil pump. So, um, anyway, guys, lessons learned in pain are often the most effective, but if you are watching this video and you have blown the, the high pressure oil pump, that's the thread count you need is a nine sixteenths, um, by 18. And again, this is a nine, nine to Oh three, seven, three F three fifty, and uh, best of luck to y'all.